welcome to procons the professional concepts today we are going to see the difference between mass and weight how much would you weigh in mars or any other planet in earth itself the weight varies from one place to another place yes if the weight varies from one place to another place what happens to mass that we will see today sometimes a confusion and misunderstanding is created while using various systems of units of force and mass this happens because lack of clear understanding of the difference between mass and weight let's understand the definition of mass and weight which will clarify the misunderstandings what is mass the universally accepted definition for mass is mass is a amount of matter contained in a given body mass is the amount of matter contained in a given body it does not vary with the change in its position on earth's surface it does not vary with change in its position on earth's surface in fact it does not vary with change in position anywhere in the world or in the universe you can say mass is expressed generally in grams or kilograms what is weight weight is the amount of pull which the earth exerts upon a given body if the body is on earth it is the amount of pull which any other planet exerts upon a given body when the body is on a particular planet so since the pull varies with distance of the center of the earth or any other planet the weight of the body also vary with its position right so when it is in earth the earth exerts some kind of pull on the body because of that the weight changes varies it is on, if it is on any other planet because of the pull exerted by that planet the weight varies so it's obvious that weight is a force unit of weight in si units is newtons now the relationship between mass and weight the relationship between mass and weight of a body is given by w is equal to mg m is for mass and g is the acceleration due to gravity in meters per second square so m can be written as w by g also one newton can be written as 1 kg multiplied by 1 meter per second square 1 kg meter per second square this is the unit now the difference between mass and weight mass is a property of matter the mass of an object is the same everywhere weight depends on the effect of gravity weight increases or decreases with higher or lower gravity mass can never be zero weight can be zero if no gravity acts upon an object like what is happening in space mass does not change according to location weight varies according to location due to change in the gravitational pull mass is a scalar quantity it has magnitude weight is a vector quantity it has magnitude and is directed towards the center of the earth or other gravity well mass may be measured using an ordinary balance weight is measured using a spring balance mass usually is measured in grams and kilograms 
weight often is measured in newtons a unit of force next does a man's weight change in solar system well a man's mass doesn't change elsewhere in the solar system the acceleration due to gravity and weight varies dramatically on earth for example your weight is slightly lower on the mountain top than at sea level i repeat again on earth itself your weight is slightly lower on mountain top than at sea level but the mass doesn't change at all whether you are on the top of the mountain or at the sea level hence due to change in gravitational force in different planets the weight of the man varies from planet to planet how much a man weigh in solar system on earth for example if a man weighs 50 kg in sun he weighs 1395 kg in mercury 18.85 kg in venus 45.16 kg in moon 8.25 kg in mars 19.475 kg in jupiter 132 kg in saturn 56.95 kg in uranus 45.85 kg in neptune 57.4 kg i would like to bring something here earlier i said the unit of weight is newtons now i am talking weight of a man weighing 50 kg why it is so why do we call weight in kg not in newtons generally the weight you see here is in kilogram force not in kg that is the fact a body of mass 1 kg will have a weight of 9.8 newton 1 kg force is equal to 9.8 newton therefore we see a body of mass 1 kg has a weight of 1 kg force since two are equal for convenience it is given as kilogram so basically if your weight is 1 kg force your mass is 1 kg as well thanks for watching let's grow together by sharing knowledge have a nice day thank you